Ryan Green, this is Riley Adams, uh, both of us are CTV Sportsers. Uh, we're here covering the Fresno State Colorado State game, the Homecoming. Absolutely. Call it. Um, we're just gonna go with some go with some quick uh, movie game. Right. And so uh, let's start with, of course. I mean, homecoming. It is homecoming. Happy parents' weekend. Yeah, I'm sure your parents are here. Uh, parents are right here this weekend. Mine aren't either, but it's <laughs> a little bit. Um, but it being homecoming, do you think the uh, you think the players are gonna get a little bit more juice? No, I think for sure it's definitely there's an air in the feeling. I mean, it's homecoming weekend. They're gonna be more excited. I think the weather might have something to do with it, with it being a little bit more down. But I think homecoming weekend. They might have a little bit more pep in their step. Yeah, um, let's go over there, Paul. Fresno State, uh, this is not a team to take lightly. This might be, I, uh, there are just one game above 500, but they might be one of the better teams in the West Conference. Um, what do the Rams have to look out for? You know, I definitely think, obviously, Derek Carr, he is a very good quarterback. Five touchdowns just last game. Yeah. It could be 4-1. A lot has to do with him. Also, their running back, Robbie Ross, is he's very good. So I think we definitely need to watch down on that. We need to crack down on defense. And I honestly think our offense, we need to run the ball. And I think that's where our opportunity is going to be. Yeah, I mean, you go down the list. It's, uh, Fresno State's number one in passing offense. It's, it's also the defense, too. Yeah. Uh, they're second in pass defense, total defense, scoring defense in the time out west. So, uh, CSU definitely, again, they've been playing some pretty tough opponents, and today is no different whatsoever. Um, let's go back to the weather. Do you think the weather being overcast, cold, uh, Fresno being from California, do you think that'll have some effect on you, maybe slowing down just a little bit? You know, I think starting out, it'll definitely be difficult for them. But Fresno's a good team. Yeah. This isn't the first time they're going to be playing in cold. I don't think it'll run them down too much. Right. It's, it's a high powered offense to just stop. But, um, again, the three and two, they're beatable. They're definitely um, beatable. Yeah, they, the Rams have their uh, cut the game cut off. All right, uh, let's talk about, of course, the Rams starting new new starting quarterback, mm-hmm. MJ McPeak. Uh, Grayson went down, had clavicle surgery. I still don't know what that is. Uh, right here, uh, Ryan, right here. Okay. <laughs> so this is what I brought you. Um, what are you looking to see out of McPeak today? You know, I, I think he will do good. I am looking more for passing yards, maybe not as many interceptions as he had last game. That would be really great. But honestly, this is going to be his first game that he's starting. Yeah. Um, I'm not expecting too much out of him. But, you know, I think I think he'll be excited. This is the first game that he's starting, fifth-year senior. I don't, he's gone off in the woods. I mean, yeah, it, he didn't look bad against him, no. of course. But then again, I, I mean, we were already 21 points down. It, it's, there's a lot of factors that go into that. If he can get at least some... I'm passing offense going where we don't look completely, you know, just like we can't pass at all. Mm-hmm. I think that'll be good for him. Yep. So um, that's definitely definitely a good thing for us. So, so yeah, uh, exciting game. We'll have halftime uh, vlog up for you, uh, and yeah, we'll see you. We'll see you after. See you soon.